for the sake of some perspective, I just wanted to show that deaths by infectious disease in 2020 in the US were not at their highest since the influenza pandemic of 1919. As you can see on this graph, there's a massive spike where the 1919 influenza pandemic struck. But overall, things were going down so dramatically that actually, during the influenza pandemic, things were only as bad as they were perhaps 30 years ago or something, because things have been getting so much better so quickly due to better hygiene. So if I add just the numbers from COVID-19 deaths in the US during 2020 to this graph, I get this line. That's not fully representative though, because there would have been some of the normal deaths from infectious disease. So if we just add those, it goes back to between 1945 and 1948. Of course, a lot of the people who would have otherwise died of just normal COVID, they died from COVID-19 or just died from normal infectious diseases, ended up dying from COVID-19. And apart from that, all of the measures taken to stop COVID-19 also would have affected all those other infectious diseases. So just adding the normal amount of deaths by infectious diseases, it's probably much less than that. So anyway, so we come to the statement, deaths in 2020 in the US from infectious diseases were the highest since 1945 to 1948. And if you look at 1945 to 1948, the US has already done a lot to decrease their infectious diseases by that stage. So in other countries, it probably would have been a lot worse. And also, if you look on there, it says SALT's vaccine introduced. Polio was a big thing, but it didn't necessarily kill you. It's very likely to paralyze you or cripple you. So when you look at this perspective, you have to say the past was pretty crap and actually we got it pretty good.